Hi folks, hope everybody's okay. This is uh, Jason and I'm just sharing with you about my ministry and where I'm at and just asking for your support in prayer and getting behind me uh, to encourage me in the work of God. Before I do that, I'm just going to pray and ask the Lord's blessing upon sharing these words. Dear Father God, we give you the prayers and the glory today. Father, I pray as I share these words today. Father, I pray that you be in them. And I pray that they will bring you glory and honor. And Father, I pray that you bless in your name and for your glory. Amen. Amen. Well, I'm delighted uh, to be with you today. It's good to be with you. And I hope you and your family are okay today. My name is Jason Burns and I live in Manchester, UK. And I principally uh, am evangelist, uh, doing uh, open air evangelism uh, around the UK. Uh, I go to various universities to talk to students and uh, various towns and villages and cities uh, sharing and preaching the gospel. Uh, there are a number of evangelists that I work with, uh, various groups, and we have great times and, and God blesses us. Also, I'm involved now in church planting, and we're hoping to, uh, I'm praying about uh, starting a, a reformed church plant uh, in Manchester. Uh, this is a delightful little work, um, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm enjoying preparing the messages, uh, the Bible studies, and uh, the preaching of the word, which I'll be sharing uh, later on, some of the messages that uh, get, get preached at the Haywood Reformed Fellowship. So basically that's what I do. I evangelize and I'm now involved in church planting. Um, I need your prayers concerning the evangelism. Uh, we meet a lot of people. We get a lot of literature out. Uh, we see people give their hearts to the Lord. And um, we have no idea uh, concerning the impact fully that we're having. Uh, I know that many Chinese students uh, are very interested in the gospel. Uh, we get to talk to Muslim students um, and uh, you know the work is a, a really encouraging work. So please pray uh, about that work and about uh, please pray that more people would come uh, with us in the evangelism that we'd be able to connect with other evangelists and other churches and uh, just pray that you know as we minister to students around the country that that impact would continue to to grow and, and more and more students would get saved and discipled so please pray for that work it's a great work and an encouraging work and pray for the other evangelists uh, they get little recognition yet they do more work than than 10 15 churches put together just one evangelist that i know does more work than say 10 15 churches and yet they don't get any recognition or support for the work they do so please pray for the men that, that come out with me and, and do evangelism. I also do a great work in Manchester and Liverpool in particular, where uh, we go down into the city centre and specifically in Manchester, we take a table and literature and that's gone really well. We have a, a good number of evangelists come down and support us and we have a good team of supporters in that work. So please pray that that work would continue to go well and that we'd be able to uh, continue to build a bridgehead in Liverpool. Pray for a car, I need a car. Um, my, my, my car's broke down, the, uh, the um, gasket's gone, and I need a new car. So pray that the Lord provide a new car. I, I don't know what to do, whether to get this one fixed or to buy a new one, or and I can't really afford a new one, so. Please pray. I need a car to travel around the universities. If you have a car that you don't want, uh, please let me know. Uh, you can send me a message on my website. Uh, contact me via my website, and um, which is jasonburnspreacher.com. jasonburnspreacher.com, and you can leave a message there, and it will get to me via uh, email. Just uh, click on to contact. So if you've got a card out there, please let me know because it would be a great help uh, in the ministry. Um, also, if you've got any Bibles, uh, especially King James Bibles, if you've got any tracts, books, uh, let me know. Uh, send me details uh, and I can pick them up or 
try and get someone to pick them up for me or meet you somewhere to pick them up. So that that would be great uh, if you've got any literature uh, that you don't want. Also, if you want to support me uh, financially, uh, I, I hope I would like to get married. I would like to have children. And therefore, I would I need my own home. This is not my home. This is somebody else's home. Um, but I need my own home uh, so I can raise a family and kids. And so if you could support me um, financially, it would help me to, to, to rent or um, look at accommodation so I can get married and, and have kids. So please pray about supporting me financially and, and backing me because honestly, we reach, we, we do more work than, than a town full of churches in terms of evangelism. We really do. So we, we, we don't ask for money normally. We've done work for years and we've not asked for money off anybody. But uh, it says a laborer is worthy of his hire. And um, we're laboring in the field. We're laboring in for the gospel. And uh, we're doing a lot of work. And we need your backing. We need your financial backing. So if you go onto my website and uh, email me, tell me your details, who you are, um, and that you'd like to back us, I can send you uh, my address if you want to send a check or uh, if you want to meet me somewhere to give me something or uh, if you want my bank details and stuff. So so that's uh, on the website, jasonburnspreacher.com. Um, if you go on there, you can contact me. I don't like asking for money, but it, it's important that you know that we do a tremendous amount of work and therefore we, we do need your support. Uh, a lot of ministries are getting support and they don't do half as much uh, work that we do in sharing the gospel. We do it in difficult areas sometimes, showing the gospel to Muslims. And um, we do it in difficult city centers where there's a lot of opposition. Um, and we need that encouragement. We need that support. And if you support me uh, and I'm supported, I can use a bit of that money to support other evangelists that work with me who don't get any recognition, who don't get any support. And they do a phenomenal amount of work. They really, really do. There are some evangelists that 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 get support financially from churches and they don't do even a fraction of the work that the evangelists that I'm with do. And uh, we need the support. We need to the support in church planting. I'm doing the work of a, of um, a part-time minister preparing a Bible study and a sermon. Um, and, you know, that's that's a work that needs support financially. And it's a reform work. So if you're a reform person, uh, Calvinist or or even evangelical, or it doesn't matter even if you're an Arminian or charismatic. But if, if you have a passion for expository preaching and you want it expository preaching, uh, established in in Manchester and around the UK then support us because that's our heart to do expository preaching and teaching the Word of God and um, we you know we hold to the reformed confessions of faith the Westminster confession of faith and stuff like that so the other thing I do is a radio show and uh, I can't tell you the details because there are enemies all over the internet that will try to cause trouble but uh, there there is a, a radio show that I'm involved in and it's going really well it goes around the world and, and many many people are blessed by it and um, you know pray that I would be able to go to different countries and if you would think about supporting me to do that I would love to go to the uh, asylum seekers on the edge uh, of Calais in France and do church planting there sometime i would love to go to africa and uh, to india and um i'd love to go to these places and, and share the gospel but i can't do it unless you back me uh, financially so so play about these things and, and and ask the lord if he if if god is calling you to support me i need you to start prayer meetings in your homes about my work you know, this is missionary work. This is missionary work in the UK and missionary work around the world that I want to do, that I feel called to do. This is about church planting. There's so many needs for church planting, not only in this country, but around the world. And I want to do that. I want to plant churches, not only in the UK, but also around the world. And 
I need you to pray weekly for me, faithfully pray weekly for me, and faithfully get behind me financially. Because I can't do this work without you. I can't do this work. I need you to support me, to hold me up. I'll go into the thick of it. I'll go to the difficult countries. I'll go for, to the difficult cities and towns in the UK and around the world. I'll go and I'll share the gospel. But I need you to hold the rope. I need you to hold me financially. I need you to hold me in prayer. So please, please, uh, if you want to see souls saved, if you want to see people come to know the Lord, then please, please back me. Please ask the Lord to, 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 if if that's what God wants you to do. Now, uh, Samuel's Weimar Theological Seminary, which is where you're seeing this video mainly. Um, the website I couldn't afford to keep up. It was being used by tens of thousands of people, but I I couldn't afford to keep it up. If you want to see that seminary up and running, it needs financial support. It, it was a, at least a, a, about a hundred pounds every two months or something to keep that website going. So I can't I can't afford that. So if you want to keep that website going, it needs your financial support. Uh, I'm going to be doing lectures in Manchester and running the seminary on the ground uh, in the new year. Uh, but if you, it needs financial support if that website is to be put back up. So if you would consider that, it was being massively used. I never asked for any money. We spent thousands of pounds keeping it going uh, over the year, couple of years. And um, it was money out of my own pocket. And uh, I didn't ask for any money. Uh, there, there was a PayPal there, but you, it was in, you know, it, it, we weren't like uh, pushing it all the time, um, and so it needs your support if that seminar is to be up. It's a strategic in terms of reaching out to Muslims because it was there to train evangelists and missionaries to reach Muslims. So it needs to go back up, and so pray about the financial support there. Your church or you supporting that ministry of theological education. And please pray about it and pray that God will send me uh, lecturers and, and pastors that I can work with to develop the seminary on the ground uh, in Manchester and around the world. So those are some areas uh, where you can be praying and thinking about support. If you want to support me, uh, if you go to my website, jasonburnspreacher.com, there's a blog at the end of all the pages where I'll be taught every week I'll be putting something on. You can keep in contact with me there. Also, uh, you can email me there. Also, it has my mobile phone number. So if you want to set up a direct debit from your church, uh, if you want to send me money uh, by a check, if you want to uh, excuse me, meet me somewhere in the UK to, to hand me some, some financial support or uh, any kind of support, be very grateful and helpful if you do have a house in the UK that you're not using or you don't want <laughs> that I could move into at a later date next year or sometime I'd be very grateful for that because I do uh, want to get married I do feel called to get married and I do want to raise up children and I need a house um, so if you have a home that you'd like a missionary to use for five five years or something or if you'd like, if you've got a home that you, you don't want and you want to wonder who to give it to, then you could give it to me and I, I will use it for for uh, raising up a family and, and doing missionary work and outreach and evangelism. Um, so the encouraging things uh, at the moment, the church plant, it's only a little plant, but it's going really well. I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying preparing messages I'm, I'm really enjoying um, uh, sharing the word and and you know it's very slow but I believe that God's in it and uh, it's a tremendous blessing I was in Liverpool a few days ago I had a great chat with some students and uh, was really encouraged and blessed and so God's really uh, blessing my work but I I do need encouragement I do need you to stand with me and to support me uh, it, it's a hard work because there's a very few evangelists doing evangelism there's very few missionaries doing mission work in the UK 
The only people that seem to be doing it mainly are the Pentecostals. But the Reformed Calvinistic side, there's very little going on from our side. And, um, you know, we need to, you, you need to think about supporting me to be able to do it. And so also that I can train other people to come out with us and do evangelism. It would be great. So please pray. Uh, I just want to say, you know, you know, I made a massive mistake uh, a, a few years ago. I, I, I was a minister of the gospel. I was a Baptist minister. And uh, I, and um, I, I had a breakdown and and I, came, and, I, and I ended up doing an MA and I was coming on the, I got a computer and I came on the, on the um, internet and I was making videos fighting the atheists and it was terrible. It was really, really bad. I was really, really ill some, some of that time. And uh, the atheists saved many of those videos and those videos are around. And I, I tried to get rid of the videos, but I can't. But they, they, they're not me. They don't represent who I am in many of those videos. And what they've done, they've cleverly mixed the old videos with the new videos. There's, thousand, there's about a thousand scholarly videos and sermons knocking around. And you don't see the good side of me often. Uh, you don't see the, the scholarly side, the, the sermon side of Jay, the pastoral side, the evangelist side. But they managed to get it so that you see this horrible, unkind Jason fighting the militant atheist, an unbalanced where I'm just crazy and silly because I just lost all sense of dignity. I lost a sense of self-worth and I just was in the gutter and I didn't care about myself. I didn't bother about myself. I was totally broken and it was a tragedy and, and it was sad to see. And, and you can see that littered in these videos that I made uh, attacking the atheists. So please forgive me. And if you see these videos, please don't think, oh, that's Jason because it's not, it's not me. It was a time where I was in a mess. I didn't have anybody there for me. I was broken. And the only culture that I was in was these militant atheists, and it was terrible. Um, so that's where it was. So if you see these videos around, these old videos, remember that. And also you need to remember that there were thousands of atheists attacking me on the Internet, and they were really making me ill as well. They were really getting me down. And they were doing things that were really unkind. Um, and uh, it really made me ill sometimes. So the real Jason Burns is a, is a minister of the gospel and um, a man of the spirit, a man of the word. You know, Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones, Spurgeon, Jonathan Edwards, all these great men of God is where my heart is. And the Westminster Confession of Faith, the Dutch Reformed Calvinists, the Puritans and all this, this is my culture. This is where I belong. This is what I'm all about. And um, I'm, I'm back to that. And I've learned a lot from the charismatics because I've been in a charismatic church for a year. I didn't, uh, And I've learned about some things about um, being in Christ and things like that. I've, I have learned some stuff, but my, my heart is uh, I'm a, a reformed gospel minister. Really, that's where my heart is. And I just want to bring glory to God in my life. I just want to bring honor to him. I just want to lift God up. I want to magnify his name. I want to proclaim him with all my heart. I, I, I want to minister the word. I want to share the gospel. I want to see people saved and have that new life of the Holy Spirit in their life. Is that not what you want? Don't you want people like the woman at the well to have the new water of life, the new joy of the Holy Spirit? That's what I want for people. So please encourage me. Please support me in prayer. Please stand with me. If you see these atheists uh, with their websites, with these eight, these videos that they have, you know, tell YouTube about it and, and get them to pull them off. And uh, those who cyberbullied me years ago, they're still around. Look out for them and just make sure that they're not doing that and, and report them if they do. Support me in prayer. Stand with me, meet with me uh, around the country. I'll come and meet and we'll pray together. You know, please stand with me in these things. Now I want to talk to students out there and people who, who are struggling in the faith. I, I just want to say to you that if you're a student and you've seen me and you want a Bible study or a house group 
in your university, let me know. I can come and I can do a house group for you, a, a study, and we could start up a group for you and, and try and get a, a church plant going in your university or town uh, or college or wherever. If you're a Christian and you're struggling in your church and you're, and you're struggling in, in your Christian life, just let me know. I'll come and encourage you. If you're a, a church that is struggling and you, you can't seem to go forward, let me know. I'll come and preach for you and I'll help you and I'll help you to get your church moving forward. If you're a, a group, a church that can't do mission and you're struggling for whatever reason, let me know. I'll come and I'll help you to get going in your church to do mission. I've done it many times with other churches and I can help you. If you want help with Islam, atheism, uh, Mormonism, Jehovah's Witness, let me know. I can give you seminars and lectures uh, on, on those in your church. If you're a Bible college around the world or wherever and you want uh, Bible teaching uh, on how to preach, on reaching Muslims, on understanding the Bible, let me know and I can help you. I can lecture on most topics uh, in, in theological education. These are dark times. There are so many, uh, there are so few men who were faithful in the Word of God. There are so few now who are truly standing for the Word of God. And we need to reach out, we need to preach the true Word of God. These are desperate times. And I'm here to share the Word of God. I'm here to bring new life in Christ. I can't do it, Christ can do it. The woman at the well, the Lord says, I've come to give you living water. That's what we're offering, living water to the world, living water of the Holy Spirit. And people need Christ. They need to know that, that they can be saved. They need to know that Christ is the king. They need to know him. And we need to go to them. And I need your help to do that. I need your help. I cannot do it alone. But if you will not go, I will go. I will go in the rain. I will go in the snow. I will go in the pain. I will go, but I need you to uphold me, my friend. I need your prayers. I need your support. But people need Jesus. They need new life. They need hope. So their eyes, when they're taking drugs and, and they're emaciated by taking drugs, they can be touched by Jesus and they can be renewed and born again. A prostitute who is uh, sleeping with men and emaciated by sin, she can meet Jesus and be changed and know the power of God. A religious person who is indifferent and not showing love can be touched by Jesus and made anew. Jesus is alive. Jesus is the king. Jesus is God incarnate. Jesus is our savior. So praise his holy name. Give him the glory. Let us lay down our life in mission. Let us die to self. Let us die to our ambition. Let us die to all that we think is important. And let us go out and burn for Jesus. Let us go out and do mission. Let us proclaim the word of God like Calvin and Luther and Spurgeon and Lloyd-Jones. Let us proclaim this word fearlessly without favor of men. Without ne never mind what men think. So many preachers today are compromising the word of God. They, they don't want to speak on things because people will get upset. But we have to proclaim the truth, the word of God. Proclaiming the word of God truthfully, faithfully, honorably. Proclaiming the fullness of God. It is sweetness. It is the honey of, of the word of God. And I want to burn for Christ. I want to burn for the Lord. I want to proclaim him. I want to lift him up in Manchester. I want to lift him up in Liverpool. I want to lift him up around the UK. I want to lift him up in Africa. I want to lift him up in India. I want to lift him up in France and Germany. I want to lift him up. In the Muslim countries, I want to proclaim Christ with all my heart, with all my mind, with all my soul. And I need you. Will you not come with me? Will you not stand with me? Will you not support me? Will you not be there praying? Will you not be there financially giving while I proclaim the word of God? 
with all my heart, with all my mind, with all my soul. If only one of you stand with me, if only two of you stand with me, if only three of you stand with me, but if you stand with me, I can do it because I'm covered in prayer. I'm covered in prayer. I'm covered in prayer. Your prayers. It says in the word of God, not by might, not by power, but by the Holy Spirit, says the Lord. The days are evil. The days are evil, my friend. The days are evil. But I will, even if I am on my own, will proclaim this word. And I will share the gospel as best I can. But I need you. Will you stand with me? If you Google David Platt, he is a pastor, a and he, he, videos of his are on my website. He is a, a man who has a heart for mission. That's the kind of man that I respect. That's the kind of man that I respect. A man who is on fire for God and wants to do mission. David Platt. Google him. If you want to understand my heart, Google David Platt. His passion for mission is the same that, that I have. We're not playing games here. We're not playing games. We need Bibles. We need tracts. I need a card. I need a home. I need finances. I need you to stand with me. Because I am out there in the rain. I'm, out, I'm going to be out there in the snow. I'm going to be out there when they're spitting at us, when they're be, trying to be violent at us. That's where I'm out on those streets. The church is not out there. The church is not on the streets. The church is in her four walls, hiding away from the problems of, of what's around us. If you want to know the power of secularism, you come on the streets of Manchester and you'll feel the full force of the power of secularism when you're preaching and people come against you at the backlash against the word of God. The atheist community tried everything they could to destroy me. This is a battle, my friends, and I need you. I need you to stand with me financially, prayer, technical support. I need people with technical abilities who are good with technical things, with computers and, 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 and all the things like that, and, and technicalities of helping me to go to different countries and, 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 and preparing the ground for me technically so I can go there and proclaim the word of God. So please pray about supporting me. And support, and, and as you support me, I can support others to do their work too. It's a partnership. It's a partnership. I'm not in it for money. I'm not in it for fame. I'm not in it for anything. The only reason I'm doing this is because I'm called to do it. I'm called to do it. I'm graced to do it. And God has put a love in my heart for people. And I just want to reach people for Jesus. I really want them to see them touched by the love of God. Touched by Jesus. Touched by the Holy Spirit. Touched by the Master. Changed and made anew. Changed and made anew. Changed and made anew. By the power of God. The sweet power of the Holy Spirit. Moving upon a soul. Moving upon a broken soul. The Spirit of God, making them anew, bringing life. That's what I want to do. Bring that gospel that Christ died on a cross and shed his blood for them. That he took the wrath that they deserved. And I want to encourage the born again believer. I want to encourage Christians in, in, in the word of God. And I want to proclaim this word. If you need, I, even though I'm doing church planting, I have a morning, Sunday morning free. If you need a pastor in your church in Manchester or in the UK to, to preach in the morning, I, I can come and preach regularly and support you uh, if, if you want to give me a, a call for a short time or, or whatever, I can come in the mornings. In the afternoons, I'm taken up with a church plant. Uh, so, you know, if you're in the UK around Manchester, or greater Manchester and you need a pastor to proclaim the word of God and to shepherd your flock 
then I can do that for you because I'm free in the morning and I could give a bit of time in uh, through the week to do pastoral visitation. Excuse me. Let's pray. I'm going to read Psalm. No, I'm going to read 2 Corinthians. To sum up uh, what I'm about, this is what I'm about. <clears throat> Therefore, uh, sorry, 2 Corinthians chapter 5. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For in this we groan, earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house, which is from heaven. If so be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. For we that are in this tabernacle do groan, being burdened, not for that we would be unclothed, but clothed upon that mortality might be swallowed up of life. Now he that hath wrought us for the selfsame thing is God, who also hath given unto us the earnest of the Spirit. Therefore we are always confident, knowing that whilst we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Therefore, we labor that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. For we must all be fear, appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that every one may receive the things done in his body according to that he had done, whether it be good or bad. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto God, and I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. For we commend not ourselves again unto you, but give you occasion to glory on our behalf, that you may have somewhat to answer them which glory in appearance and not in heart. For whether we be beside ourselves, it is to God. Whether be we sober, it is for your cause. For the love of Christ constraineth us, because we thus judge that if one died for all, then we're all dead. And that he died for all, that they which live should henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose, rose again. Wherefore henceforth know we no man after the flesh, ye though we have known Christ after the flesh, Yet not henceforth, now we know more. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ. Here it is. And has given to us the ministry of reconciliation. To wit, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ's stead, be you reconciled to God. For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. We are ministers of reconciliation, taking the gospel to the world so that they can be reconciled with God. Now I'm asking you, brethren, I'm asking you solemnly, Stand with me in prayer. Pray for me every day. Have prayer meetings in your churches and around the world today. And pray for my ministry. That it would be anointing of the Holy Spirit. That God would bless it. Pray against my enemies that they would be defeated. Pray that God would make a way for me in a house and finances for a family and a car. Pray for me. That God will bless my ministry and I would see many souls saved. Pray for me that many would work with me and that I could support many in ministry. Pray for me that I'd be able to proclaim the word fearlessly in the demonstration of the spirit and of power. Pray for me that everything that I do is not about me, but for the glory of God. Pray for me that I'd be able to proclaim this word to my generation. Pray. Please pray. Please stand with me. Please have a heart for mission at the reaching of the lost. Thank you very much and God bless you. This is Jason Burns. Remember my website, jasonburnspreacher.com, jasonburnspreacher.com, jasonburnspreacher.com. And you can keep in contact with me there. You can go into Facebook. You can go onto Twitter and you can go onto a, another small channel that I have. And so God bless you and thank you for listening. Take care and love to see you soon. God bless. Stand with me. And let's do the work of an evangelist and proclaim the word of God today in our generation. These are dark times, folks. These are dark times, and they're not times for messing about. They're really not.
So if you want to be effective today, stand with me and we'll do great things together for the glory of God in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.